Uh, what's going on you guys? Welcome to another awesome video where I'll be showing you how to use SolidWorks and 3D printing to create awesome things like this grabber. This is kind of like a little, I'd say a little expansion into the bearing that I had created that's printed in place. But something a bit more complex and a bit more fun and unique. So basically the idea of this whole thing is that it prints in one piece, grab the two bits, and it extends. Very fun little project. Now, I had a few little troubles printing this, but I'll get into that in a bit. But let's get into how I made this awesome grabber. So, first off we start off by opening up SolidWorks. The way I plan on designing this is to create just the basic X, pattern that across, and then chop away at it and cut away at it and shape it till I'm, I've got the forms that I need, all the gaps and tolerances that I need. So here I'm busy cutting away the gaps that I need for the two parts to fit into each other, making sure it aligns up really nicely with a 0.5 millimeter tolerance to allow them to move together nicely. I was just happy that the two parts weren't intersecting and I added some pins to make sure that it would work well together. I then patterned it out to get a good idea of the size what it will look like. I then rotated one of them to figure out its movement, to figure out where it's going to intersect when the scissor is open, so that I can cut away those parts next. Right now I'm busy creating a flat space on the bottom of the grabber so that there's flat plate, uh, flat face on the bed so that I can print easily without any support. I then move them back into the original position and pattern it over. This gave me the chance to create the the thumb holes for the grab. This is where I started saving them as separate parts so that I can insert it into assembly and actually test the mechanism. Put in all the following mates and then wiggled it about. This gave me an idea of how much it can be opened up with the size of the rings that I was using and make changes where needed. Once I was happy with that I started creating the actual claw tips. I then put it into assembly again just to make sure it all lines up and it will work perfectly fine. Added some chamfers just to shape it off really nicely and I'll give it some soft edges. Once I was happy, exported it to an SDL and began printing it. This was printed in a filament of blue, recycled PLA, on an Ultimaker 2, around 9 hours printing time, 0.2mm height, layer height and 10% input. Mm -hmm. 
So when printing this the first time, um, one, a couple of the faces that I created didn't have enough tolerance on it so it couldn't open up and it eventually broke. I then printed it again. I then found out that the bottom faces over here fused up and could not expand and it broke. But then the third one was just right. And that was just because of a little shampoo that I put on the bottom so it prevented the faces from actually fusing. I really hope you enjoyed this and you learned a lot from it. The thinking behind this is quite complicated but once you get it right and you can then adapt it to all these different projects it becomes really fun and exciting what you can make. And I look forward to seeing what you guys can do. Please leave a like and a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.